Deader Than Dead, a quick synopsis by Robert P. Fitton. I'm going to be right up front with you concerning this synopsis. The patriarch of the Fletcher family in Hamilton, New Hampshire, is dead. And what's worse is that Hamilton Fletcher has been murdered. Why the heck has this guy been taken out? Never mind, why would I do that to one of my lead characters in the Jones series? Let's start with the circumstances and the suspects surrounding the murder. Being alone can be a prerequisite for murder, and Hamilton Fletcher was indeed all by his lonesome atop Fletcher Hill at his estate. His butler, Hollings, had gone to his friend Wells to get a specific $28,000 bottle of wine. Outside his office, he swears that someone has just run across the estate grounds. Then Hamilton Fletcher goes outside, checks around, and takes his nightly swim. Maybe what he's learned on the computer readouts has distressed the old man. His son, Ham, is on the way to the Fletcher paint plant in Prince William because an alarm went off, but that alarm is a false alarm. He scolds Ham for sales being down in Ohio, and Ham talks with Malcolm Hayes, the controller of the company. Hamilton Fletcher calls Matthias Jones on the landline. Jones is at a pep rally, but he's ordered to be at Fletcher Hill at 8.15. Somebody's outside in the pool by the trash barrel. Thurman Childs, who lives up in the woods, claims that Hamilton Fletcher swindled him out of land and caused old man Childs' heart attack. Bernard Roth, the New York attorney, nicks the land title. And now on this very night, Thurman Childs bursts onto the Fletcher property. Jones arrives with Hollings just as he comes back to Fletcher Hill with a rare bottle of wine. They find Hamilton Fletcher bent over the computer desk, darkened computer screen, and crusted blood around his skull wound. Jones calls George Strickland. The computer plug was pulled from the wall. Alex Harmon, part of the groundskeeping crew, is racing away down Route 7 on his motorcycle near the stables. Hamilton humiliated Harmon and didn't pay him, and then Hamilton fired Harmon. Anna Fletcher, Hamilton Fletcher's daughter, was due to arrive and now, by this point, is in the carriage house next to the pool. But she heard nothing, according to him. Anna Fletcher Ritali. Does she own a 22 caliber gun? Anna is a teaser, and Jones is quite suspicious. Anna Fletcher, in an open row with bikini below, says there's always someone out there that wants you dead. And then there's the longtime employee, controller Malcolm Hayes. He and Hamilton were going over the dollars and cents earlier in the afternoon. But Hayes was at the golf course with Travis there for an awards dinner when Fletcher died. Alex Harmon has disappeared off the face of the earth and Kevin Phillips from the Prince William Police Department knows Anna Fletcher and says she's trouble. The atrium doors to the outside were locked. Hamilton was shot from behind, but the killer could have come in the atrium and then shut the doors. As Jones begins to investigate the murder, somebody is shooting at Jones and Tom McGill in the woods near Thurman Childs' shack. Another tidbit, Malcolm Hayes was sick during the awards dinner. Dr. Bradgate has him on antibiotic, but this too makes Jones suspicious. Anna calls Jones Jonesy like Coco. He asked her about the shooting. By accident, over at the Colonial House restaurant, he falls into her arms. She wants to go to Prince William clubbing. And Travis also says she's trouble. Anna Fletcher is the ultimate enigma, according to Travis. Coco knows all about Anna Fletcher from years ago. Anna Banana's been back to Hamilton a lot, Jonesy. She needs money for a failing restaurant. There's a lot of mayhem with Lark and his beanpole girlfriend Flo, as well as Bucky Driscoll and his antics. Arnie is consistently annoying throughout the book. Jones wonders about Hayes' power, controlling all the Fletcher accounts, but he has no motive for Hayes murdering Hamilton Fletcher. The way Jones solves this premier murder in Hamilton is to get inside the character of the murderer. 
And by thoroughly examining all aspects of the murder scene, Jones can understand how the murderer pulled off killing Hamilton Fletcher. There's a bleached portion of the carpet in Hamilton Fletcher's study. And Jones asks this important question. If he plugs in each of the suspects, did they have time to commit the murder? With the timelines, he has a real good perspective on who killed Hamilton Fletcher. And guess what? Exactly what Hamilton Fletcher was reading on that computer before the plug was pulled is very important. Yeah, the killer tries to take out Jones during one of his games, really. And why oh why did I kill off Hamilton Fletcher, the source of so much tension and humor? Because the story series shifts with Jones and Franny being married and Aunt May arriving from Indiana. And there will be another source of tension, not a part of the Fletcher family. And it is possible to resurrect Hamilton Fletcher and other books before this murder. Deader Than Dead is on Amazon and paperback and Kindle and iTunes and Audible support the audio book. I'm Robert P. Fitton and this has been a quick synopsis for Deader Than Dead.